So this problem says, find using algebra all real solutions to the equation 16a squared is equal to 2 times the square root of a. So what I would do to start this problem is to first isolate my square root. So to isolate my square root, I'll divide both sides by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8, so that makes 8a squared is equal to the square root of a. Now that I've gotten my square root isolated, I'm going to square both sides to get rid of that square root. So 8 squared is 64, and a squared squared is a to the power of 4, and this square cancels out the square root, leaving just a on the right side. From here, now that I've gotten rid of all my square roots, I'm going to solve for 0. So I'm going to subtract a on both sides to make 64 a to the power of 4 minus a is equal to 0. Now I want to factor the side with the a's on it um, to make sure I get, get all of my solutions. So I, since I have an a in every term, I'm going to pull an a out to the front and that'll leave 64 a to the power of 4 minus 1. Now remember that when you pull an a out of an a, you still have a 1 there. You didn't get rid of the whole term. And that's equal to 0. Now that we have it into a factored form, let's set each of our factors equal to 0 separately. So I'm going to set a is equal to 0, and I'll set 64 a to the power of 4 minus 1 equal to 0. So the a is equal to 0 is already solved, so we can just leave that solution. For this one, we need to add 1 to both sides. We want to isolate our a. So 64 a to the power of 4 is equal to 1. Then get rid of the 64 by dividing 64 on both sides. So we get a to the power of 4 is equal to 1 over 64. Or sorry, I made a mistake. This, once we pulled out one of the a's, this should have been a 3. So let me go back and fix that. I was too focused on my other term. Okay, so when we pull an a out, this would get rid of one of the a's out of this term, making this an a to the power of 3. So when I split it up in my factors, this will be an a to the power of 3, and this will be an a to the power of 3, and this will also be an a to the power of 3. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. From here, we can get rid of the cube by taking the cube root of both sides. So this cube, this cube root cancels out with the cube, and it leaves us with a. Since it's an odd um, cube root, we don't have to do the plus or minus the same way we would do with the square root. So um, yeah, we don't need to do our plus or minus. And the cube root of 1 is 1 divided by the cube root of 64 is 4. So we get our two solutions would be 0 and 4. We do need to go back and to plug them in to our original problem to verify those solutions. And you generally want to verify solutions anytime you have a square root in your problem or if you have like a rational function to start. So let's just plug these in. If we plug in 0, we get 16 times 0 squared is equal to 2 times the square root of 0. 0 squared is 0, and 0 times 0 is 0. Then the square root of 0 is 0, and then 2 times 0 is 0. So this one checks out. Let's try the 1 fourth. So we have 16 times 1 fourth squared is equal to 2 square root of 1 fourth. So 1 fourth squared is 1 squared is 1 and 4 squared is 16. So that would make 16 times 1 over 16 is equal to the square root of 1 fourth is the square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 2, sorry, the square root of 4 is 2. So that would make 2 times 1 over 2. And these would cancel out to make the 16s would cancel out to make 1 and the 2s would also cancel out to make 1. So this solution also checks out. So we have two solutions for this problem. A is equal to 0 and A is equal to 1 fourth. So I hope this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. 
If it was, please like the video and share with anybody that you think might find this information helpful. Also, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more similar homework help problems. Thanks for watching.